Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my review of tonight's SmackDown Live uh, edition. Uh, my edition review of SmackDown Live. And uh, I thought tonight's SmackDown Live show was pretty good. Uh, had a couple of uh, matches that I really enjoyed, but there were some quick matches here and there. So, but uh, gonna start the review. Uh, the show opens up with uh, The Miz and Maurice coming out, uh, talking about Dean Ambrose and Renee Young. You know, last week, you know, you had uh, Ambrose taking out uh, The Miz backstage. Uh, Dean Ambrose ends up coming out. Uh, Maurice tries to block him. She actually slaps Ambrose and uh, find out that Ambrose gets his title shot against uh, The Miz tonight. And uh, all in all, it was a okay uh, sort of segment. And next was uh, Baron Corbin versus Dolph Ziggler for the hundredth time. Uh, I, don't know what, what, I don't know what was the point of this match. They fought almost all the time. Uh, but, you know, Baron Corbin got the win against Ziggler. And uh, after the match, uh, Kalisto comes out uh, to save Dolph, you know, because Kalisto and Corbin have their little uh, feud that uh, that was put on hold because, uh, you know, they were supposed to fight again, you know, continue the feud. And so they hold it up until now. And then just, you know, Kalisto comes out to save Dolph, but then uh, Dolph super kicks Kalisto. And he turns, uh, Dolph turns heel in the process. So, but, you know, it's been a while since we've seen uh, Dolph, you know, be a heel. Last time he was heel was when uh, he was with uh, AJ, you know, AJ Lee and uh, Big E that, at that time. So, uh, glad to see uh, Dolph, you know, be a heel again because I think he's much better as a heel. I mean, wasn't bad as a baby face though, but he's a lot better. He's a lot better as a heel. But uh, all in all, it was a okay match. So, and uh, after the match, we go backstage and we see Carmella and James Ellsworth there. Uh, Ellsworth wishes Carmella good luck in her match, and Carmella, you know, tells uh, Ellsworth that. She wants him to be rinks at ringside for her match, uh, and he agrees to. So, uh, and then it was, it was a quick segment though. Uh, and then we go backstage. We see uh, Mojo Raleigh and uh, Rhino there, uh, also Apollo Cruz, and just you know you see Dolph coming back there to the uh, into the locker room where they're at, and then just Dolph just being the hell out of uh, Apollo there. Uh, you know, you have Rhino and Mojo try to separate uh, both of them. But it was a cool uh, backstage uh, little, you know, fight. The world de definitely sent up a feud against uh, Dolph and Apollo, which could be uh, interesting now that uh, Dolph is a heel now. I mean, ever since... Uh, you know they bought up Apollo from NXT. Uh, you know they were trying to they were building him up, but now they're just making him like you know, like you know you haven't been giving him matches or anything. So, but yeah, Apollo deserve Apollo uh, deserves to be in more matches. Uh, definitely see potential in this guy. But uh, he was more used. He was much used better in NXT, uh, in my opinion. And then it was Becky Lynch versus uh, La Luchadora. Uh, if you saw last week's SmackDown, uh, you had uh, this Luchador there. Actually, it started two weeks ago where you had uh, Alexa Bliss face uh, this uh, Luchador. And it was revealed that it was Becky uh, in the Luchador costume. But then last week you had some other uh, person uh, come out in the Luchador mask but didn't reveal them. Uh, but this match was pretty good. Uh, Becky was dominating through the match. 
and you have one of the uh, La Luchadoras go under the ring because uh, there's two uh, La Luchadoras. Uh, one of them went under the ring, and then another one just came in and just started taking, you know, just taking Becky out, uh, which eventually led to uh, Becky getting the win. And it was revealed that one of them was actually Alexa Bliss. Uh, and uh, just Alexa Bliss and this other uh, mystery La Luchadora was just taking out Becky. Uh, didn't reveal who uh, the other La Luchadora was, but it was revealed online, though, in an article. So, but uh, all in all, it was a good match. And then uh, when we came back from commercial break, it was the uh, AJ Styles and John Cena uh, Royal Rumble contract signed for uh, the match for the WWE World Championship for Cena to face uh, AJ at the Rumble for the title. Which I think if uh, Cena wins the title, he becomes a 16-time uh, uh, you know World Champion. Uh, so, but uh, Daniel Bryan is out there. Uh, AJ speaking the truth about Cena, you know, saying, oh, you know, he's going to Hollywood and everything about that. Just saying the truth about uh, Cena and how, you know, he doesn't deserve, how Cena doesn't deserve to get a towel shot against Styles. Uh, but he also talks about how uh, SmackDown beat Raw on the ratings last week. And it was all because of Cena returning. So... But, you know, we all, like I said in my Raw review, we all know uh, that SmackDown is the much better show than uh, Raw. So, but who knows? It may, SmackDown may pull a high rating uh, this week. So, we get to see how that goes. Uh, but, uh, Styles complains that uh, Cena was worthless and, you know, again, the title shot because of that. And then you just had Baron Corbin. Uh, out there, uh, you know. So, and you just had a uh, Styles taking out Cena. So, but it was an okay uh, segment. It was a good segment between the both of these guys, you know, when they contract sign in. And after all that happened, we go backstage and we see Maurice there. Uh, Renee Young is there and. Maurice actually slaps the shit out of Renee, uh, you know, just really hard. And Maurice tells Renee, you know, not to touch, you know, Miz again, because uh, she, act because Renee actually slapped uh, Miz two weeks ago on SmackDown Live. So, but, and then uh, when we came back from commercial break, it was Carmella versus Aaliyah. She was one of the uh, NXT uh, women down there. And it was a quick match. Uh, James Ellsworth was, of course, there at ringside. Uh, he was trying to interfere in the match later on. Uh, but Carmella actually got the win with the code of silence to Aaliyah. So, overall, it was a quick match. And uh, the next match was... Breezango... These jobbers, you know, Tyler Breeze and Fandango against American Alpha. And, uh, sorry about that, but I was saying, uh, the next match was Breezango, these jobbers, you know, Tyler Breeze and Fandango taking on American Alpha. And it was only like a one, um, a one minute match. It was a quick, very quick match. Uh, of course, you know, fighting against jobbers, you know, Tyler Breeze and Fandango. So. And after the match, you had the Wyatt family uh, cut a promo. Bray Wyatt was talking to uh, American Alpha saying that next week on uh, SmackDown, they're going to take back their uh, SmackDown tag team titles. So, you know, now that sets up a match against American Alpha versus uh, the Wyatts next week. So, we'll see how that goes. And then it was the Nikki Bella and Natalia confrontation. You know, we all know with uh, Nikki Bella, you know, they, uh, Kamala said that, uh, you know, that Nikki was attacked by Natalia backstage at Survivor Series, but, uh, you know, Nikki's saying that she doesn't despise Natalia, 
and you know that she said that Natalia is just laying on her family's legacy. You know when they when you know Natalia comes out to her music, they don't the fans don't think about her. They think about you know the Heart Foundation and when the, she's doing the uh, you know the submission move, they think of you know Bret Hart doing that. You know they cheer because that was Bret Hart's move. And then uh, just Nikki takes out Natalia because. You know, she was talking about, you know, how uh, Nikki just only uh, got popular because of fame and because she's with uh, Cena. And, you know, it just led to Nikki just, you know, taking out Natalia. So eventually that sets up, you know, a rivalry between Nikki and Natalia, uh, which it's going to be a good uh, uh, rivalry. Uh because you know, we've seen enough of Nikki and uh, Carmella. And then uh, after that uh, segment, it was a uh, okay segment. After that, we go backstage and Dean's getting, Dean Ambrose is getting interviewed. And, you know, he's pissed off because probably, you know, about Marie slapping the, the shit out of Renee. Uh, but he was saying that he's taking back the Intercontinental title. And that's what led to the main event, which was uh, Dean Ambrose versus The Miz for the title. And it was a pretty good match. Uh, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, you know, you had Maurice interfere there a couple of times. Uh, in the uh, later part of the match, uh, Maurice was uh, trying wanted to disqualify uh, Ambrose. Or, uh, and then, you know, you had Ambrose... Uh, just telling the referee that, you know, not to uh, disqualify him, but they actually threw, uh, the ref actually threw Maurice uh, out from ringside. So it was just, you know, Dean and The Miz going at it. And then uh, you had Dean Ambrose uh, hit the Dirty Deeds on Miz, pin him, and now Dean Ambrose wins his second uh, Intercontinental title win. Uh, which is really awesome. I'm glad that uh, Ambrose is the Intercontinental Champion for the second time. Uh, just really, really awesome. Uh, really good, really uh, awesome way to end uh, tonight's edition of SmackDown. So, but yeah, all in all, it was a good match and I really enjoyed it. And uh, the show was uh, pretty good tonight. So, but yeah, so anyways, that's it for my review of tonight's SmackDown Live uh, review. Uh, thank you all for watching, and until the next video, I'll see you all later.